Hi, I'm Snow, and this is Gas and Go. All right, welcome to another episode of Gas and Go with Snow. I am out here in sunny Southern California. We are at Cruising Grand, Escondido. Now, we are just talking about all the Mopar stuff we've seen out here. And Danny Boy, get a quick view of all these cars just right here. So we are in the Mopar section. While we're looking at all these cars, I see this car pull in and I'm like, wow, that looks very James Bondish. And so then when I started looking more at the car, I was like, wait a minute, I have no idea what that is. So Jeff, thanks for taking the time to do this. Thanks, all right. Tell me what this is, because again, I consider myself an expert on American muscle. Never seen this. What is it? It's a 1967 Ghia. It was bought okay. by a company called Ghia in Italy. It was a joint venture between Chrysler and Ghia. Chrysler was looking to possibly have a sports car to bring people under their showrooms in 68. So they got together with Ghia and agreed to give them a 100 Barracuda S 67 uh, transmissions, uh, running gear, engine, rear end. And Ghia had to build their own frame because it's actually bigger than a Barracuda S. Yeah. Uh, Chrysler sent their top engineers over there to help Ghia. The hope was that they would come to America. A guy named Bert Sugarman, who originally did the Midnight Express, Late okay. Night Rock and Roll Show, and yep. the Dating Game, right. was the guy behind it. And he set up a showroom in Beverly Hills, California, right. to sell these cars. They came with a full Chrysler warranty. Yep. They were supposed to cost $7,500, and they ended up costing $12,000, which is the same price as the yep. prior Lamborghini. So, All right. Man. Okay, let me touch on one thing. You said full like Barracuda running gear. So the underpinnings, all Chrysler. All Chrysler, transmission rear end, uh, a lot of the bits and pieces, all the city engines, uh, right. 273 Commando uh, okay. V8. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, now, before we get into the details on this car, there's something special about this. Where did you get this car? Where did this come from? Well, I'll make the story short, but it's got right. a cool car story. I bought it at an okay. auction, one of the, I think it was RM auctions. Okay. I knew the cars. I've been looking one for, for 10 years. I yeah. missed getting one 10 years before. All right. I bought the car, and the only history on it was a long-term Beverly Hills family ship okay. that, that it owned it. Yeah. So I ended up tra tracing it on the internet. I right. know it's a long story. I won't make it, but called the office of the guy who was on the title. Okay. The secretary said, oh, it's funny you should call today. I have the original key, sales brochure, all the original invoices. Wow. Would you like to have that? I drove up to get it. I didn't even have it put in the mail. Yeah, of course. I ended up tra tracing it through them, and then I okay. met the brother who owned it and gave it to his brother, and I said, okay. so this is your car. He's all, no, I had a blue one in Beverly Hills in the yeah. in the 70s, and I and I always wanted Herbs. And uh, so I bought it when his wife sold it, and I said, who's her? And he said, Herb Alpert of the Tijuana Brass. I wasn't familiar, but now I am. Okay, so get a look at this. So you managed to find a car with some history. Well, let's check out the interior here. And you know what, for the record, man, this is arrow straight. Did you have to restore it? No, it's just like this. Can we open her up? I don't yeah, know. Absolutely. You got me nervous to touch it. No, <laughs> push the button and pull. Yeah. You can sit in it. Go ahead. Oh, man. Let's see. Hold on. Let's check this out. The seats were actually designed after office chairs, and I forget the name of them in the 50s. Yeah. They're actually very comfortable three-piece chairs. I, and... I'm surprised at how comfortable this is, and I'm 6'1", right? And I feel totally comfortable in here. I can stretch my legs completely out. So, wow. And now, I'm noticing 150 mile an hour speed up. Come on, man. I know you haven't done it, but how far do you, how fast do you think it'll go? Well, it's the same as a 67, you know, yeah. uh, Barracuda S, basically. If you read the road and track articles, they were sporty, they handled pretty good. But it's only a 240 horsepower motor. So, you well, know. 240 horse in a car, this car can't weigh. 2100 pounds. Yeah, it's not super, not yeah. super heavy. So it goes decent. It's not, yeah. uh, it's not a streamer, but it's more. You go to a car show and no one knows what it is, so it's right. kind of fun to take it out. Yeah, no, that's definitely uh, and it's an eye catcher. And I'm looking at the gauges and stuff. The way this is laid out is super nice. And then what are all the switches here? I mean. It you got like an injector seat yeah, on here? Yeah, or no, no, no. It's all the lights. It's the hazards. It's okay. uh, you know a number of different things. And the funny part is they didn't mark them. So every time I get I was in just going to say, did you just start flipping switches to find yeah, out what they do? I think I was telling you. And when I say it's, it's a pretty good driving car, but yeah. I own 22 cars. So, okay. Um, <laughs> So I own some muscle cars and, and big blocks, and yeah. so compared to that, it's not the same thing. So to put it in reference, but it drives great. Yeah. It's a sporty car. 
Oh, this is a nice car. Man. This is so awesome. All right. Well, hey, there you have it. In case you didn't know, uh, Chrysler in 1967 made a Ghia with Italian styling. So this thing is a beautiful example of one. And my understanding is there's what, 30 left in the world? Approximately uh, 25 to 30, yeah. 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 Well, all right. Hey, thanks again for doing so. this. Yeah. All right, we'll see you guys next time on Gas and Go With Snow. Yeah.